guys, this is Alison Pryor and I think uh, this will be a nice painting to teach you today. It's a moose crossing a river and um, anybody who likes to hunt or likes moose, we could uh, learn how to paint this. So, this is a nice painting. That's the moose. And I'll show you how So to I'm just going to go back and forth with my paint my bluish gray paint. Now as we get down further we are going to add more white. We're going to keep it adding white to lighten it up. So we want a really nice light color down here. Brighten it up. Because as the sky gets down, as we all know, it gets lighter on the bottom. There we go. And mix up whatever comes out then I'll use it. So some people like to make a big mixture of one color and then use that which is fine for big paintings and something you're doing, a different type of painting. So I'm just laying this on here. Don't worry about the tops right now. And I'm just going to okay, some green. More. I'm not too worried about right now at this stage. I don't worry too much about what's happening, but I want to get something started and I want it to look nice. Because if it looks nice, it'll encourage you to keep going. If it looks really bad, you're like, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then you, you feel like you can't do it. But if you can get one section at a time, yeah, and you can so. make that. Now, I'll see now what, what we got to do next. So just put your water on. As you get down here, add more blue so we can get nice and dark. There we go. Nice and dark down here. So I'm just going into my, my blue now right into my blue. No white for now. I'm putting lots of paint on there because I'm putting some of these nice little bushes here. You don't have to have these. You don't want them. I'm just putting them there so you can get used to doing bushes and trees and what colors to use. So get a nice dark green. Um, if you want, if you don't have all these colors and you can't get your dark green over here, and remember, because the, the most light is over to the left. There we go. I think I'm going to leave that now because that's a lot of highlighting things that we did. It's not bad. And when I come back, we'll we'll do more. We'll do more because um, yeah, that will give you a chance to do your highlights and your grass and your tree and all the good stuff. Then I have to leave. How are we doing? Okay. So I look at I I always lift it up to make sure I don't miss some lines so I can get it correct. Let's see if that's any good. Let's see. I think that will do. I think I should be able to get that. Well, there we go. So I'm going to add another little coat of paint to this little guy. Alright. Just spraying my... just to keep things moving. So I get a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Burnt umber and uh, <coughs> and blue this time. So bring it out more in the brown. Maybe a little more brown. We'll start off a little bit of a darker color. And I'm going to wipe it off in my tissue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of tissue. And oh, and then I'm going to wipe it off. Okay. And then I'm going to scrub it on the back here. Mm -hmm. 